And Christina, your final thoughts on your friend and colleague, um, uh, Chris Hondros, who died soon after Tim yesterday in Miserata. <clears throat> Right. Well, I, I think Tim, I mean, I think Chris Chris and Tim will both be missed, um, not only by the, the people who uh, who saw their images and were impacted them by from a distance, but from the many, many people, uh, younger journalists that Chris mentored and gave advice to. I mean, he was truly a pillar of, uh, of a community that is um, always in, in need of, um, of support and encouragement, um, moral and practical. And I mean, he was just the, the kindest person in, in allowing friends to use his satellite phone and, and giving a hand. And I know that recently when he was in Egypt covering Trier Square, he stuck cl very closely by a, a fellow female photojournalist because she was being uh, manhandled in the crowd. And he made it a point not only to do his job, but to look out for the people he was traveling with. And I just think, um, you know, both his professional work and, and, and his personal qualities will um, be a, a lasting inspiration to people who try, like Tim and like Chris, to, um, to show Americans and others what war really is. Well, I want to thank you all for being with us. Um, uh, as you've pointed out, uh, for Chris Hondros and Tim Hetherington, the story wasn't them. It was the people they covered. They showed that in all of their work. But yesterday, they were both killed uh, doing their work.